Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, let's talk a bit about in terms of um, how to find penny stocks to trade, right? Penny stocks, we're not talking about like 10, 20 cents, but decently maybe around 50 cents to $10 stock. Uh, how to find them and in terms of um, if you had to go and trade it, how to trade them. So I'm using the website called finviz.com uh, where you can go and do, uh, I'm on the homepage right now, I do have an elite version in it, so you will be able to find intraday data. Uh, so you can go on the screeners and go to in industry stocks only. Um, one thing that you want to take a look at is uh, the common theory in terms of penny stocks really is uh, they will have pretty gigantic uh, percentage uh, upward, right? So generally you want to go industry stocks only. Uh, you do want to take a look at in terms of uh, the change. Uh, definitely want to take a look at something which is higher rate of change which is generally up 10% because you're looking at stocks which is uh, if you look at stocks which is 50 cents to a dollar or sorry 50 cents to ten dollars so you can take a look at stocks under ten dollars so relatively if you look at a 10% change on a ten dollar stock you're looking at a dollar move right so that's really a good uh, judgment of whether the stock can move or not uh, I mean, if you want to be a bit more lenient, you can really do up 5%, right? So it means generally it's a $10 stock. 5% move is only 50 cents, which means the stock will start going. Uh, if you're doing, if you're running the scans on an intraday basis, you also want to take a look at in terms of the volume, right? Because you're trading at uh, these small stocks, which is under $10, you want to have a pretty decent volume. I mean, over a million or maybe generally over 500,000 shares is really a good idea to look at. Uh, and if you're looking at for stocks um, in terms of how the stocks are doing, uh, you also want to take a look at the relative volume because you don't want you don't really want to take create a stock which has really not a lot of market participants. You want to have something which is above average, right? So something like over two with a relative volume is generally a good idea to take a look at. Uh, so next we just look on charts, you look on candles. Uh, so now you see all these stocks on here. Right now, your really idea really is to find which stocks have had a range before and which ones can really go. Right, so I click on five minutes, which I can see the intraday data on here. So if you look at look at all these stocks, right? I mean, with the relative volume over two, volume over five hundred thousand stocks under ten dollars, and change up five percent or more. Uh, so you're able to find these stocks. Now the idea really is trying to see if there is going to be a continuation pattern. Or is going to be a reversal pattern, right? So if you look at these stocks, I mean, um, AQMS is a really good one where you see this up move, uh, consolidation on the three, and then it has this move to 360, right? This one you can't really trade, doesn't really have any volume on it. Uh, AGLE could be the other one that you're looking at, right? AGLE. Go to interactive. Uh, look at five minute charts. So this stock went from eight bucks to nine bucks right um, if you look at in terms of the move it has an up move when sideways over 820 I mean this is a really nice move up here right um, something like EBIO right something which has this move nice consolidation pattern and then the up move uh, Mara is the one up move sideways and then the other move right so this is a way that you can find stocks under ten dollars trying to see whether the stock is actually going to reverse back uh, which is uh, one strong move up and then have a flush down back or it could have a continuation move so this is one of the easiest way to find penny stocks to trade i mean if you don't really have um, the elite version you, here's what you will see you go to screeners you go to industry stocks only uh, you will have our wall over two Current volume over 500,000. Uh, technical ads change up 5%. Uh, you also want to see if you can do price under $10. Right? So this is a scan that you can create. You get uh, 18 stocks on here. One thing that you would notice in here is that you won't be able to look at intraday charts because you need fitness elite. I'll put a link down there if you want to get access to it. But if not, uh, you just take a look at the charts on here and look at the daily patterns, right? Look at the daily pattern and see which stocks have potential of the range. If they do have the potential of the range, then those are the ones you want to trade whether on the long side or the short side. Because if the stocks doesn't have a history of range, then chances are um, 
this, you might get stuck in the stock. The stock might not might not actually move at all, right? So yeah, if you have any comments, please like and subscribe to the video. Hopefully, you guys learned something today. Have a good one.